Hi, I'm Beth. And I'm Jamal, and today we are talking about how to argue successfully in a relationship. Oh dang, what a topic. So if you are new to our channel, we make relationship videos for single people, for people that have just got into a relationship, or people that have been in a relationship for like 50 odd years. So any of these tips could possibly be useful for you. So if that sounds interesting, please click the subscribe button and bell so that you get a notification every time we post a video. And make sure you stick around to the end for a bonus tip. So back to today's video and our first top tip on how to successfully argue in a relationship is to recognise your triggers. You need to be willing to first of all recognise and look inside of yourself as to what is going to trigger you to explode and blow up at your partner. So that could come from baggage that you've picked up over the years, like past hurts, things that perhaps you haven't quite dealt with yet that are still there niggling at you so it makes you easier to explode in a situation where you could possibly be or you could be more calm and it helps you also to recognize the fact that maybe your partner said something that is annoying but it's made 10 times more annoying because of all the stuff that you've gone through in your past. Because the last thing you want to do really is cause damage to your relationship and to your partner by saying something in the moment that you don't really mean mm. but are saying because you can't control yourself. This is a much deeper topic that we're definitely going to cover in a separate video but being willing to look inside yourself and discover your triggers and control those is kind of like the first step, almost the precursor to any argument. And also realising that you you are a team. You're not there to hurt each other. You're not there to intentionally make each other feel bad. You need to work together to come to a conclusion for this issue. And that leads us nicely into our next tip, which is do actually confront the issue if you have it. Because on the one hand, you do want to be willing to look inside yourself and be patient and, and things like that. But also you don't want to bury anything to the point where it then becomes the baggage to which you then explode at your partner. Yeah, with. you don't want to try and force yourself to be patient. It should be just be a, a natural reaction from working through your baggage. It's important not to bury the issue, not to bury your feelings, but to communicate them in a way that makes your partner feel like they're not being attacked, but you're just being open and honest and vulnerable. And yeah, going forward with that, you always want to come to a conclusion with your argument. Like, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many times you have to talk about it, no matter how many conversations you have to have, it's really important that if there's an issue there and it's on the table, that you deal with it and you face it head on. It's very easy as a couple to brush it under the carpet and to say to each other, oh, we'll just forget about that, leave that on the shelf and carry on with our mm. lives. But really the roots of that issue are gonna leak into every other area and are gonna stop you having true intimacy together. And it's really important it's that you deal with it so that actually your intimacy can grow. And also using effective communication as well, like saying things like, what you said made me feel like this, is this what you mean? Try and avoid saying things like, you're always so, you always do this like every time. In reality, it's probably not true. It might be the majority of the time or it might be a little bit of the time, but actually saying those words and using those extremes can even trigger your partner to be... Mm. It's you know, provoking. Yeah, yeah, it's provocative. And that leads us nicely onto our next tip, which is choose your words wisely. Choose those words wisely, You don't want to be boy. saying, you don't want to be effing and blinding and cursing mm. your partner. It's, it's just such like... such a slug butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to cause more uncertainty, more chaos in your relationship. Yeah. And if you feel like you want to, take a deep breath and think about the way you can word that. If you're trying to watch the football and your partner is like trying to talk to you, <laughs> instead of saying, shut up, I'm trying to watch the football <laughs> say honey can we talk about this at a different time or maybe at half time we could talk about this or even just be willing to sacrifice five minutes of your time with football to address the issue if it's important enough but always bring it back to that composed level because if you explode it will only cause more explosion but i think the key <laughs> is to always make your partner feel like they are the priority yes very true. <laughs> We're not going to have an argument. <laughs> and our final tip of the day is always be willing to apologise and be willing to be the first to apologise. At the end of the day, there may be times where you both don't necessarily understand the other's perspective, but you're willing to accept that you did something to hurt the other person. And though you didn't mean to, it's important that you recognise that they need you to say sorry. You need to draw a line in the sand. Apologise for what you've done, even though you may not have meant to do it. And finally, for the bonus tip, we recommend 
And what we've found useful is when arguing to have eye contact, don't turn your bodies away from each other. It's very tempting to kind of isolate yourself in some form, mm -hmm. um, even if you are in the same room, by like not looking at each other or turning away from each other. It's really important to maintain that eye contact. Obviously, you can blink and look away every now and then, <laughs> not a robot. And um, even hold hands just so that um, it reminds you that, you know, this is the person that you love. This isn't the person whose head you want to rip off. It's a nice way of bringing you back down to reality and just reminding you that you're in love with this person you're arguing with. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you go subscribe to this channel and click the bell for notifications. And again, follow our music journey. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.